Today's game is coming to you live from a galaxy far, far away. Red City Alpha Stadium built on a floating meteorite, which also serves as an off-Earth penal colony when the games aren't being played. Both teams hit the field ready to hit each other in this MFL matchup. The Terra Bay Mutineers battle. The Galaxy Chaos. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. The paddy wagons in the parking lots are full. The familiar scent of bodily fluids in the air. And the men's room is both flooding and on fire. And that means MFL game day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Man, last week some mutant let out a lava blast in one of the stalls in the men's room. Place went up like an oil rig. Flames and explosion. Water shooting out of where a toilet were. <laughs> I electrocuted myself using the electric hand dryer. I wish they had paper towels at least as an option. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot eight. I don't remember calling 911, but the SWAT team is out in full force at the line of scrimmage. Nice play by the linemen. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Third down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Kaboom! And the quarterback unleashes a sonic blast again. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Two. And that's a pick. And now the quarterback is cursing the deep. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham a sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm going to go grab one. You want anything? Now, yeah, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. <laughs> First and ten. I guess when the coach said the offense was going to be explosive this week, he meant it literally. Second down and ten. First and ten. Second down and long. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. Oh, that was a hit. You ever had your lights knocked out like that, Bricks? Ah, that's not fair. So much you call a penalty on this ref. Yeah, the death penalty. Hang them by the nuts. Oh, did we get out Yeah, that, 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 that. 
Second down and five. The defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> Second down and two. The lineman swats the ball away with those meaty paws. God, it looks so snuggly. Yeah, I guess if you're a monster. Third and two. And another interception. This quarter, pow, with the brain scrambler. The ref calls a penalty. You know, the MFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Stupid jerks. You guys suck. And it's first and ten. Oh, the punishing hit. The quarterback goes down. No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Second down and a lot. Chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Second down and six. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. First and ten. And the running game is starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. Second down and two. Hey, come on, move your ass. I got a... Oh, man, his neck vertebrae 
just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Oh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with the no mustard? strategy there, uh, you proposed bricks. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Good night, Irene. You ever get hit in the face with a shovel, Graham? I have. And trust me, the hit that guy just took was worse. And it's first and ten. The teams are all tied up at the end of quarter one. We'll be right back. Now the defense called a time warp dirty trick, negating that play completely. The offense is pissed. Well, I wish I had that trick in the elevator with me earlier. I let one rip. I made a really good one, Grim. And then the doors open and the team's cheerleaders get on. Oh, oh. That's what small talk is really put to the test. It looks like we've got a penalty here. parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby Blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. And so at the end of one, we're all tied up. We'll be right back. First and ten. First down! I see this guy drop 
a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Let me tell you, getting shocked is no joke. I used to wear triple wolf socks, slide around on a shit copper for eight hours so I could shock my younger brother. I went to change the TV channel. He got blown across the room into the deer antlers. And that'll be second down and four. Slap in the face by the defense. Oh, that's me in the hotel bar every night. Hey, your opening line needs work. Why? Really? What's a pretty girl like you doing here all by herself? Are you all defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can... And he snags the punt and looks for him. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. Whenever a player gets... Big... Oh, welcome to Fumbletown, USA. Population, boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Now, yeah, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. Yeah, bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! And it's first and ten. First and ten. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. And the defense is on his heels. You know, if you go frame by frame, you can see the cover of my son's death metal album. Yeah, baby. Fell up the hogs. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Oh, with the brutal hit! And it's first and ten. Too 
second down and more than the QB would like. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, you just throw it to the guy in the same color jersey as you. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? First and ten. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can see that, Graham. Say what? Come on, man. You can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm going to ruin your world. You understand me? Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and get the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. It's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his club. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Wow, the quarterback just threw a sonic blast to his receiver, knocking down the entire defense. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on... Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? And he just wrestles away from that tackle. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. First down and one. Quarterback passes for a touchdown. These aren't just regular aliens. They are criminal aliens. They have a lot of moves besides dancing. Yeah, the rest better check the wallets. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. Man, oh man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. No, oh, that's a relief, because there's nothing worse than food poisoning. Ah, uh, you're telling me. and downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. Third down and, well, good luck. And he's off 
to the races. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. The 20. The 10. He scores! He earned those points on the heels of an epic run. Ah, don't call things epic, Grim. Kids aren't gonna think you're cool no matter what you do. Junior, I don't want kids to think I'm cool. Nobody can touch you when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries, makers of great killer products like Ground Up. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. Boy, these guys are going to need to pull off a huge comeback in the second half to win this game. Here comes the kickoff. Rip their toes! Why do we even come back and bother? This is a waste of our time! Yeah, if only one team is going to show up, why should we have to? You want dirt and some fun on your turn! When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked down? And that mutant just about met his maker on that hit. I thought he was made in China. Uh, I don't see any Chinese guys down there. You're a fucking moron. And it's first and ten. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Second down and ten. And he breaks away. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Third down and ten. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know almost throw interceptions, but when I do, it's when the game is on the line. That's a big time hit. You ever been hit like that before, Bricks? Uh, have you seen my beer? I feel like I've been here before. Is this deja vu? This is like our Brazilian season, dumbass. Actually, I think he's talking about the time warp dirty trick that the defense just played. Still a dumbass, though. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. Nice punt! Should move him back nice. He's got the ball now and is gonna try and score. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? First and ten. There aren't too many players that... Oh, he took a leap and had the ball knocked out. Fumble! He's got a case of fumbleitis. And the defense scrummed it out and came... Oh, he was hit mid hurl and boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the MFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't... You gotta avoid those spikes or you'll be a mutant pincushion. I was a chubby kid, Grim. My parents sent me to...
And they line up for the extra point. It's good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Well, that is one big mutant sandwich down there. One guy's definitely toast. That's what you call a club sandwich, Grim. And it's first and ten. Second and three. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Briggs? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they are not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, Right now, what day is it? Third down and long. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. Win by forfeit after systematically decimating the opposition. There's not much. 
much left of the opposition, and the fans are loving it. There was only one way this game was going to end, and that was in a forfeit. That's not quite true, Grim. The alien spacecraft could have crashed into the stadium and ended the game. Oh, I don't know how about it? How about if you shut the hell up right now? We go down to the field and listen to what the MVP has to say. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...